Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Panda here, and we are back for another episode of Shuffle. And you know what? I'm not even going to apologize. No, I'm not even going to apologize that I left uh, the last episode for so long until you got a new one. Uh, even though it was on a massive cliffhanger and you were all sitting on the edge of your seats. Ah, no, not even going to apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm just an asshole. I'm a self-proclaimed asshole. I'm just, just putting it out there. Uh, no, I don't know. Shut up, bone. Someone answer that, please. Thank you. Okay, they answered it. All right. So, <clears throat> I don't know what I was talking about. I need a drink. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. Now I believe where we left off, I was on a date with Sia, and all of a sudden, Nivrin jumped out of the bushes because she's been stalking us this whole time, just like Sia's father. All right. Rinsama, when I take two cans from the vending machine, somebody calls me. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, there we go. It, oh, it's you, Nurin. Are you on your walk? Yes, the temperature has come down quite a bit now. Are you taking a walk too? Uh, actually, I'm on a date. No, Shino no Oji-san played a trick on me. See you over there. Do you want to go say hi? Nurin smiles gently. Mm, no thanks, I'd rather be on a date with you than her be on a date with you. Or you be on a date with her. If she was to go over there and speak to Sia, they'd get in a massive cat fight and then there'd be a huge war between the gods and the devils and ah, oh, calamity! No, that's okay, I don't think I should. She shakes her head slowly. Today is a very special day for Sia Chen, so you should too should be alone special day? Yes, it's her birthday. It is? Birthday? Whose birthday? It's your chance. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. <coughs> On the calendar for the world of humans, July 30th is her birthday, which is today. I don't have a present for her. That's okay. As long as you're with her and enjoy your time with her, that would make her very happy. Oh, you're so sweet, Nurin. So please enjoy your time alone, okay? Nurin leaves in a hurry with a smile on her face. Now I see the reason for the strange behaviour of the King of the Gods. What a foolish father. Mm, I wouldn't say so. Mmm, girl, you look good in that light. Sorry to make you wait. Oh, that's okay. The prince usually shows up at a very important moment. I sit next to her and give her one of the cans I just bought. I guess a happy birthday is in order. Whose birthday is it? As I put my mouth on the can, I point my finger at her. Come to think of it, maybe so. Hey, did you forget your own birthday? For women, getting older isn't a happy occasion. Not a happy occasion for anyone. Not just women. Age doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. That's what the pedophiles think too, but uh, that doesn't quite work out very well for them. Yeah. Birthdays are to celebrate your birth into this world. Wow, Rincon, that sounds great. You're so cool. If you put it that way, I feel so thankful for my birthday. To celebrate my birth into this world, huh? Sia's face gets cloudy after she says so. That's right, I need to celebrate. Because of her birth. Sia? I think I know why she looks so depressed. I don't. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Her sister. The other Lysianthus who is yet to be born. I still don't understand the relationship between them, but I can feel how strong the bond is. Uh, sorry, it's nothing. Sia smiles hastily when she realizes the mood she's creating. I bet Dad planned this because he understands. Maybe I'll cook an extra dish 
tomorrow night. For dinner. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so unprofessional of me. Me professional. <laughs> this smile is back to normal. Sorry that I didn't prepare anything. Don't worry about that. Mmm, <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Seems to be something stuck in my throat. Mm. Hopefully another drink will help. To have you here with me is all I want, so that's okay. But it's your birthday. <coughs> Seeing my reaction, Sia points her finger at her mouth. Hmm. If you insist, can I ask you for one thing? What do you want to ask? Kiss me, lover boy. This is something I've been dreaming of. Because <clears throat> it's almost time. What? No, nothing. I want to ask you... Dun, 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 ah... Oh, you gotta ask. That's not fair. You can't do that. You, you sh oh, what? <clears throat> oh my goodness. Sorry. Frog stuck in my throat. I stand at the front gate of my neighbor's house and ring the doorbell. Clink, clank. What an unusual doorbell sound. Yes? Ah, hi. Runkun, please come in. Wait, what? I thought... Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm doing the dishes right now. Hang on a second. <coughs> Sia invites me into her room and serves me a cup of coffee. Then leaves her room. Oh, I think I know what's about to happen. I guess this is the first time I saw her room. Actually, I hardly visit girls' rooms, so maybe that's normal. I've only been in Kaid's, Primulas, and Arsis and Pies before. Why have you been in Arsis, huh? Huh? Oh, that's right. My mum's room a long time ago, too. I know it's rude, but I can't help looking around. Is that a ficus? She's got so many ficuses in her room. Well, actually only two, but that's a lot of ficus. Just like the outside of the house, her room is Japanese style, too. The bed seems mismatched, though. Oh, I like the bed. Oh, I like the sheets. The sheets are nice. I like them. Mm -hmm. If the room is Japanese style, I wonder why she doesn't use a futon. What's a futon? Oh, is that one of those couches that folds out to a bed? I think, maybe, I don't know. As I look at her Japanese-style desk, I take a sip of my coffee. A sister, huh? There's a frame picture on her desk. I mutter as I look at it. When the gate of the world of gods opened ten years ago, some cultures from the world of humans were introduced. One of them must have been the pictures, which are used to keep memories. <coughs> I pick up the framed picture. Oh, that's so cute. Is that... Is, uh, is, is that her? Or is that... No, that would be mother. Correct? I think. Mother, father... I don't know who these two are. This is Sia. I... Hmm... Sisters? Cousins? Relations of some sort. Friends. Acquaintances. It's a family photo. It has Sia, the king of the gods, and probably Sia's mothers. Oh, Sia's mothers. That's right, she's got more than one. I see three beautiful ladies. Meh. Wait, does she have two or three? I thought she only had two. If it's... Uh, I don't know. <coughs> It must be a few years ago, because Sia looks young. She's smiling in the centre. Five of them. Obviously, Reverse Sia isn't in the picture. Actually, all of the family members know about me, but they don't. They decided not to know me. There's one lady from the Devils in the picture. According to Reverse Sia, this must be Sia's real mother. <gasps> oh, I'm really sorry about this. Uh oh, screen going different colour. Hang on, give me a second. G give me a second. Give me a, give me a second. Give, give me. Okay. Alright, we're better. Ooh, I bet that looks better. Jeez. It's a family of five. 
The sixth wasn't an wasn't bleh. Sixth one bleh wasn't wanted. Oh my Jesus! But the sixth wasn't born. I'd cause problems. There's no meaning to my existence. <coughs> I seem to actually be losing my voice. I'm very sorry for this. <coughs> Just give me a minute. <sighs> I will trudge on through this. Um, so I, I apologize if my voice becomes worse. I don't know why I'm losing my voice, but it certainly sounds like it I am. <coughs> I wasn't supposed to exist as an heiress. I wonder what she was thinking when she saw this picture. A smile that was never meant for her. I wonder what went through her mind. And see it. By the way, I'd suggest not asking Sarah about me, because she's determined. See it. I wonder what she thinks when she sees this picture, knowing the existence of reverse Sarah inside of her. Thanks for waiting! The door opens and the cheerful voice raises the dark mood of the room. You created that dark mood. I put the framed picture back on the desk. <coughs> Are you all done? Yeah, sorry to make you wait. Okay, let's go downstairs. Ahem. <coughs> Sia brings out a tiny wooden stick. It's an epic. Okay, Rincon, lie down. Lie down? You mean, are you really going to do what you were talking about yesterday? Of course. What? What is... I, I don't... What? Sia smiles happily and taps her lap. Whoa! What? Come on, it's a birthday present. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Picking my ears is a birthday present. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is fucking weird. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't envisage this in a romantic way, even though they've got the, the they've certainly got the mood, uh, the mood music for it, but, um, <laughs> she's picking my, I lie, okay, just carry on, I lie down and put my head on her lap, <clears throat> I feel the softness and the warmth of her thighs, <sighs> It's comforting, but at the same time, a little embarrassing, too. <clears throat> you aren't nervous, are you? I'm not nervous, but imagine if she pulled out this massive long worm or something. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me you don't like your ears picked. No, that's not it, but... I've had Cade pick my ears before, although most of the time it was done forcefully. What the hell? Is this a common thing to get other people to pick your ears? This is fucked up. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm good at it. Good at it. Just relax. Actually, speaking of that, I was watching. I don't know if any of you watched Generic B. Um, he's a he's a Minecraft player on the uh, Minecraft server. He was talking about when. One, ta one time he went to Thailand, and when he went to the bathroom, there was this um, little Thai man that would come up behind you when you were going to um, use the restroom and give you a back massage. Or, or you, you know, just give you a massage. <laughs> That's just... I don't... Ah, oh, I would feel so uncomfortable. I don't know how you could get anything out when that sort of thing was happening but when some when someone else is doing something to you it, like personal errands like this feel like you know it should only be done by you and you only not have your lap on someone else's or have your head on someone else's lap and let them pick at your ears Ugh. I'm ranting no that's not it either are you embarrassed yeah you're usually so cool, but at a time like this, you're so cute. That stimulates my maternal instinct. O okay. Sia chuckles joyfully and starts to pick my ear. Just as she said, she's very good at it. Not too strong, not too weak. It's perfect. 
Added to the feeling on my left cheek, cheek, it feels extremely good. Picking ears in the sun on a day off, just like a newlywed wife. Okay. Never heard of any newlywed wives uh, doing that, but... Uh, I can feel my face getting hot, hearing her casual words. I always wanted to do this, pick ears of my love while holding his head like this. To feel the weight of that person makes me feel so happy. I think I can understand that. When a cat or a dog comes up to my lap, I feel its weight and that makes me feel happy. Actually, yeah, that's, that's a good point. I don't have a cat, but when I go over to someone's place and just lie on their bed or whatever, and all of a sudden the cat just comes up and lies on your chest or on your back or something, it's like, ah, oh, that feels so good. So thank you for making one of my dreams come true. Sia shows such a happy smile. As I see her face, I can feel a little worry come to my mind. Hey, when you say you're loved, does that mean you also pick other people's ears? No way, other than you, maybe my father and mother, that's it. I'm relieved. It's jealousy, the selfish desire to monopolize. An extremely selfish urge to make Sia and everything about Sia mine. Other than my family, your ears are the only ones I pick, so please let me do it again. Okay. Sia speaks happily and that makes me happy too. I can't help smiling to and to hide it, I close my eyes. In the summer sun, I feel the breeze. I feel Sia's soft body, the perfect temperature and the nice breeze. Everything is making me sleepy. Welcome. I hear Sia's voice but my body isn't reacting. Are you taking a nap? I guess so. I feel a soft sensation on my head and it's rubbing my head slowly. It's a little cool yet soft, her touch is making me even sleepier. I'm sure it's making you something else too. There's no reason to resist, besides I don't have the power to resist anyway. Damn straight, if anyone says that any man can resist, just I'd take for instance one of the uh, weekends I currently went on adventures. There were no beds available, so I slept on the floor. Okay, that's fine. All right, good, sweet. All right. There was this girl, and she didn't have anywhere else to sleep, so I said, "Hey, why don't you come sleep with me?" Right? There was no intentions whatsoever. Right? Then, halfway through sleeping, yes, it was only sleeping, don't get too angsty, right? Uh, she started to, you know, creep closer and closer to me, and even if, even though I had no intentions with this woman, uh, you, you, in a situation like that, you, you cannot resist. A man's will is to uh, to do what's right and what's right in that situation is to wow well, you, you, you get the point I don't need to further that hmm are you awake I hear a soft voice sorry a gentle touch is rubbing my head Ooh, which head are we talking about Jeez. a soft feeling is supporting my head whoa hey oh whoo. I feel a nice breeze on my body I'm regaining my consciousness slowly. What? I... Good morning. See his heavy smile. As I see it, my head gets clearer little by little. I guess I... I'll sleep. You look cute when you're asleep. You were sleeping so soundly. Oh, I don't know how to say that. Oh, or... Oh, or... Oh. Or, oh. <laughs> I enjoyed watching you. Like a predator. <laughs> See his mischievous, mischievous smile is making me blush. <laughs> hey, it's your turn next. You show me how you sleep. It's not fair to just see me sleep. <laughs> hey, smooth moves, Rune. Smooth moves. I. Uh, you mean... Uh, no, Sia-san, I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm not at Suki. 
<laughs> You're right. <laughs> she gives a dry laugh to hide her embarrassment. Her face in the sunset leaves an impression. Happy see ya. No sad see ya. Happy see ya. Okay. Oh, hey, Brimula. What's up? Those are not, um... Those are not beach clothes. What are you doing? Silly girl. Silly. So this is the ocean. Yes. The bright white sl bleh. The bright white sunlight was reflecting on the surface of the blue sea. It sure is the symbol of the summer. The ocean is the summer. Damn straight it is. God, you're ripped. Jesus. Whew. Jealous. The ocean. Yes, this is the ocean. Did we just do a double take on these guys? What was that about? This is the ocean, right? Yeah, this is the ocean. Triple take? What the hell? There's only one thing to do. That's right. Shin Chan. Come on, let's do it together. Oh, Shin! Yeah, <laughs> uh, everyone, I don't know what to say. That's okay. We were kind of ready for it. I don't think this is no longer a family vacation. Is it okay? They sure are young, aren't they? Young? Are you sure that's the word you want to use? They're both so popular on the beach. They're attracting everyone's attention. Enough is a good thing. Anyway, I'll put their luggage in a different spot. I don't want people to think they're with us. <laughs> Everyone nods at the same time. Anyway, maybe me. What? What about the extra lessons? Le lessons? Meh, Sean Connery. Don't you have them every day? The bad cold is going around right now and it takes a long time to get better. I see, so this is sun tanning treatment, huh? I'm sure the doctor who diagnosed you will be a very popular one. When you have cold, you have to keep yourself warm, right? I can picture Miss B's beautiful smile on my mind. Okay, I'll get our spot ready, so why don't you go get changed, ladies? Wow, I'm impressed. You're so thoughtful when it comes to girls. But... Don't worry, girls need long time to get ready, so go right ahead. Okay, I'll make sure he won't come peek, so don't worry. Good job, Tsuchimi kun How did you know? We're, we're counting on you, Rin-chan. We'll go change. They all head to the changing room with their luggage. Let's get things ready then. Itsuki, can you get the mat from the bag? And before I go and see what Itsuki says, I will save. Hello? Hello? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!